Today we'll be finding out if the Bionic Mantis headphones sound as good as they look and which straps they'll actually fit on. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron, the channel that aims to bring you helpful and entertaining quests and VR content. If that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe button to join the great community. You can leave anytime you like. Come and join us on Instagram if you want to see previews of stuff I'm testing or what I had for dinner or my love of wine gums. And well done to Jayhan Izzy who got all of the clips from the last video. I'll mention Gamer Boy VR 2 since Jayhan said both Gremlins films. So, after reviewing the cheap clip on earphones from Aligo slash SMN and being thoroughly disappointed with the sound, a lot of people suggested I try the Bionic Mantis headphones that are actually meant for the PSVR. I actually considered buying these a while back but then totally forgot about them when I started doing YouTube, so good shouts. I found them on Amazon for £46, which of course is about double the price of the other ones I tried. They were well packed and came with some over-ear add-ons which were a bit fiddly to get on and just made it sound a bit more echoey. Some people may like that, but I just thought they looked a bit big and stupid. I tried the headphones on three straps, the Halo strap, the Elite strap, and the cheap strap from Eligo slash SMN, which unlike their headphones is actually pretty good and is oddly incompatible with their own headphones. So let's take a look at the fit first on the Halo strap. In we go. Now, sadly, there is only one part of the Halo strap suitable for mounting these headphones, and that is near the back of the strap. Now, I know that the Halo isn't pushed all the way onto the Quest 2 in this video, but I did try it again later with the strap adjusted properly, and it made no difference. Uh, next up is the Elite strap. Right, these headphones, here's the Elite strap. They do not fit. But I found a video by someone called Ethan Pierce who explained how it can be done. And it's really easy, so easy that I'm not going to tell you how to do it in this video. Instead, I insist you go check his video out to find out how to do it. I've left a link below. Go and say hi. Now it fits. Anyway, once on, they go on pretty well and look good. They pretty much look like they were meant for this strap. I didn't bother doing any tidying of the wire, so it does look a bit of a mess, but I'm sure you could sort that out with a bit of Velcro. By the way, I used this method to see if I could get it to fit any other parts of the Halo strap, but sadly the padding on the Halo just gets in the way and doesn't allow a firm grip. <sighs> Find out what happened next time. If you have managed to do it though, let us know. So finally I tried it on the cheaper LIGO SMN strap I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Unlike the Elite strap, you don't need to do any jiggery pokery to get this to fit. It fits perfectly onto the thin parts of the strap, as if it was designed to take these headphones. Now I said the Elite strap looked like they were pretty much made for these. Well this combination is even better, like gherkins and Big Macs, or Easy Ginger and Stew. Mmm, nom nom nom. Is it, is it? Is it nice? It looks seriously good. The strap and headphones, I mean, not the easy ginger. Although... And finally, we should test them on the Quest 1. And good news, they do, but you do need to use the trick to extend them. So now you know what they work with, and I didn't try the Deluxe Audio strap for obvious reasons, how do they sound? I tested them in some games and also on YouTube, listening to my go-to songs for testing speakers and headphones. We even had a little quiz on Instagram about which song I was listening to. This time, I went with a bit of Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve, some Radiohead, and of course, my guilty pleasure, Wide Awake by Katy Perry. It's not a guilty pleasure, if you actually love it and play it all the time and tell everyone. And they're not bad. They're, they're a hell of a lot better than the cheap ones, more than twice as good, and they are twice the price. They are indeed an upgrade over the stock sound too, which is encouraging because the other ones weren't as good as stock. The bass isn't amazing, but there is bass. The highs seem fine, but the main issue I had with these is that sometimes the mids would overpower everything else. It wasn't always apparent, and actually in games they sounded pretty good. Just that some of my songs didn't quite sound as good as they could have. And you can 100% buy some £45 headphones that sound a lot better than these do. Coupled with the Elite strap, the cost is close to £100. The obvious question is, do you go for Elite plus Mantis or Vive Deluxe Audio strap for about £25 more? Remember, you do need adapters for the Deluxe Audio strap to fit your Quest 1 or 2. And let's throw in the ultimate combo in terms of looks and fit, the Eligo plus Mantis. That comes in at £80, so £45 less than the DAS with the adapters. So which one would I choose? Find out next time. Kidding, 
I'd choose the Deluxe Audio Strap. Remember, the sound of the Deluxe Audio Strap isn't amazing, but I do think they sound very good and well balanced. So I would pay the extra for that increased sound quality and also the tidiness of the integrated audio the DAS brings. Like I said, I'm sure you can tidy these up with Velcro, but I still prefer the cleaner look of the DAS. But what if you didn't want to spend £125 on a strap and audio? Because that is a lot of money. Well, if you did go with the other two options, you'll have a very comfortable strap. I still think the Elite is the most comfortable of the three, but they're all comfortable. And the earphones, well, they very much depend on you. I think most people will find them a bit too midi, but you can always try them and return them if you don't like them. I've read the reviews and a lot of people think they sound really, really good. It's a shame that no one's made an EQ for the Quest, and it's a shame there isn't one built in, because with a little lowering of the mids, these could be really good headphones. The quality isn't actually bad, they're just set up badly. By the way, if someone has made an EQ for the Quest, then do let us know. Now, if you play mostly PC VR, then there is actually some good news. I did a little search and I found a Reddit post from one Sacco Belmonte who had found a Windows EQ program that allows you to do exactly what we've just been talking about. And apparently the headphones then sound really good. So I've left a link to the Reddit post below for you to peruse. He's even shared his own EQ curve that you can try yourself. And this guy is apparently a sound engineer, so it could be worth looking at. Finally, in terms of comfort and movement, they don't go 360, they just go in and out and up and down and a bit of tilt. Basically, they offer a good amount of movement to achieve a very comfortable fit. And they rest on your ears nicely without adding too much pressure and they don't click back out like the DAS ones can sometimes. I've managed to sort that out now, thanks for your help on that. They also do seem very well made, but do be careful if you're using the trick to get them onto the Elite strap. So I'm pretty sure I reached a conclusion back there. There are links below to all the products I've mentioned in the video and of course, if you do have any questions, questions then feel free to ask away. I'm really hoping to find the perfect clip-on headphones. I've spoken to a company called Engineered AF which I'm pretty sure stands for Engineered for Alex Ford so I'm hoping they're going to be good and I should be getting some of those to test in the new year. I've also heard good things about the headphones from Cost so I'll be trying to get some of those. If you sell or make headphones that clip onto VR headsets then do feel free to contact me I'd love to do a video on them especially if they're actually any good. So if you found this video helpful then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you want to stick around for the VR information and entertainment then be sure to subscribe and if you can't get enough of the cauldron then come and find us on Instagram. I've been Al, thanks for watching the VR cauldron, take care of yourselves and I hope to see you next time. See ya! One, two, three, sink. <clears throat> Shit, I haven't put the f script on.